Hey guys, this is David and Jerry. Um, we're hello. Yeah, we're doing um, kind of talking about this cover that we're working on for Divergent Chill. We are developing a cover for Brian Fontenot, and so we kind of wanted to just do a video to go through what we're working on and kind of from the start and to um, give people that are looking for, I guess, drawing techniques, drawing tips, and just um, uh, how to work in Photoshop, I guess, just some of what we do. Um, and as you can see right here, this is, uh, we have two covers that we're working on. The first one Jerry is doing, I'm doing the second one. The first cover is Divergent Chill, which is the little girl. She's supposed to be like a 10 year old girl. You can see her um, under Barizzle, is how I want to say his name. He has a very unique spelling. We're going to have to get Brian to uh, you know, pronounce that in real time for us sooner or later. Yeah, it would be nice to get a, um, an actual pronunciation of, pronunciation of that. But for now, I'm just going to say Barizzle. Barizzle? Sounds like that's close enough. Yeah. And so he's the big wolf monster. He's supposed to be the mentor of her. And as you can see, Jerry has them fighting back to back on this cover. Yep, that's what they're doing, fighting back to back. And they're going to be going against, uh, what clan was that? The Blackland Warriors. Yes, I did actually do a, um, a sketch of them. Well, it's not that much, but uh, it's got a head view of this guy. He's... um kind of staring them down and this guy jumping in you know just wanted to get some uh, nice angles and some action shot just to make this uh, cover come to life at least I'm gonna try <laughs> but um so far I'm just gonna hide them right now because I'm not gonna be uh, focused on that for the moment but um I did draw now forgive me David I'm just gonna take over for a second because no, I just started talking um I did draw Burzel and chill on two different layers, you know, to just in case I have to change the form. Like here, I didn't even draw his leg that's behind chill because, you know, she's going to be right there. I didn't draw it properly yet because um, it's going to be hidden anyway. So I didn't really put too much uh, effort on making that leg correct. But when I work on him, I will try and add more definition to that leg but right now what I really want to do is focus on chill because there are several things that needs to be done to fix this stance I did give it a weird angle and it's like a top somewhat a top down view because as you can see her head is being displayed bigger and then it uh, scales down until it gets to her leg where it's gonna actually meet the ground and the ground is like uh, you got that perspective going on um, but yeah, that's, uh, this is not going to be really like a Photoshop tutorial. It's actually just going to be a, a, a walkthrough of how my press process of, um, getting things done in Photoshop and, uh, yeah. on this specific cover, yeah. especially, um, just to kind of, because the final product, of course, obviously is going to look totally different from the beginning. So, um, just a kind of a, a, a taste of how things come to life and for anyone interested in this cover specifically in the book that he'll be releasing so they know how the cover was done um, yep and uh, well right off the bat what I really wanted to do is change his arm because uh, I have to give her a sword apparently right yeah. She's going to have to wield some kind of sword. and um, Yeah, she's supposed to have a huge sword. Um, I believe, well, she changes swords on the second book, I believe. On the first book, she does have a, actually, I think she he said she has a short knife-shaped sword on the first book. So that's the sword uh, I'm giving her now? The, yeah, so... Yeah, so she's going to have a short, I guess, a shorter sword. Okay. On the second book, I guess she gets the huge sword. So the sword I'm doing on the second book is going to be, like, really big. Huh. Uh, 
Wow. And that's the one with the, well, I don't want to give anything away, so I'm not going to give any details on that. But uh, she's going to have a huge sword on the second book. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and delete that arm <laughs> or erase. But um, I want to, like, kind of curve her elbow in so she can, like, hold the sword outwards, perhaps. But it looks like she's powering up. I mean, there's several ways you can uh, execute this. But um, you can tell me what you think. If uh, How do you think she should be holding this sword? Yeah, I think that's... Let's see. That looks like she's uh, doing one of those power-up motions. As if she's yeah, it look, looks her. like she could be um, kind of defending right there. Like she's kind of backing up and just yeah, ready like to she's flash a out. Fencer. Yeah. yeah, something like that. She looks like she's um, fencing. But also, I mean, there's several approaches. I mean, I probably could just make her hand or her arm. I think maybe amazing. overhead to me. Overhead. Be interesting. Well, the way her body is, I'm gonna have to stretch her. Uh, Body or, upwards. Yeah, or maybe straight out. Like, or at an angle out, maybe. Kind of like pointing the sword out with like, like this, maybe. Yeah, something like that. Like, oh, that looks kind of cool. Like she's pointing at somebody. Like, yeah. Come at me, bro. She was in her. <laughs> she done marked her target. <laughs> yeah. I want you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She picked that guy. You on the left. Mine. Yeah. Or she's probably stabbing someone in the head. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of. Yeah, you, you gotta, you gotta definitely feel that. You gotta, you know, for anybody who's trying to get into art, you gotta definitely make it your own story. And even if it's not yours, you gotta get into it. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Thinking of the possibilities of uh, anything that could happen on the battlefield, you could just have fun with that. Yeah. Because yeah. I feel. That it's a lot, the mindset, like... I'm going to zoom out and see how this looks with uh, Brizzle. Yeah. And so we're going to go into more detail on the next video, guys. But this was just an introduction to let you know what we're, where we're going with this. So, um... And that looks thanks. all right. I think I, I like that. I, I like that. I do like that. I think it feels that I'll a little more having her sword go over there or something. Um, right, then. Okay, guys. Well, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.